and as ONR's Casey Ferguson reports, that celebration would not be complete without honoring our state's own civil rights icon, Clara Looper. Let's come together. Let's get a little closer. Let's act like we're unified. On a cold Monday morning, Garland Pruitt, leader of the local NAACP, gathered people together at the Freedom Center in Northeast Oklahoma City to begin their annual silent walk. So many times we stood out here in front of Freedom Center. So many times we walked the streets of Oklahoma City. So many times we cried out against Injustice. Marilyn Luper Hildreth was once again on hand to commemorate MLK and the civil rights movement in which her mother played an important role. Well, in Oklahoma City, one of the heroes that all of us should be looking back and saying, this person represents what's good in our spirit, something that needed to be done, someone with the courage to stand up, the ability to pull people together into a cause and to change history. Well, that's Clara Luper. Speaking at a civil rights forum on Saturday, Hildreth says her mother's calls begin in the classroom. My mother was a school teacher, and she believed in education. She believed in democracy. She believed that every kid could learn, and she believed that we had a responsibility for, to speak up and shut up. <laughs> As the newly appointed NAACP Youth Council Director in the late 1950s, Looper took her students to New York to perform a play based on the early work of Martin Luther King Jr. On the way home, they traveled through the Deep South. As children, we did not understand a lot of things. We didn't understand that we were poor. We knew we were black. <laughs> We did not understand why we could not go into a restaurant and sit down and eat or drink a Coke like everyone else. We didn't understand that. That led to the August 1958 Catch Drug Store sit-in, which inspired sit-ins across the South. Looper helped organize Oklahoma civil rights movement from the Freedom Center, a building that eventually fell into disrepair and was closed permanently in 2011. Now, the building will have new life. As part of Oklahoma City's MAPS 4 sales tax, voters approved $25 million to restore the center and create the Clara Looper Civil Rights Museum. And to ensure the longevity of the museum, $9 million will be used as an endowment. We're doing things now to stabilize the original uh, NAACP Youth Council Freedom Center building. It will be two to three years before funds come available for us to actually start the project. But we're not waiting on maps. Organizers have high expectations for the project. They're determined to create a museum worthy of her legacy. Now, the Clara Luther Center is a 20,000 square foot, two level uh, facility. It will hold a, a museum as well as some other center activities, including workshops, conferences, symposiums on civil rights human rights or what have you. The project will include a 500 seat event center and the development of a nearby empty gas station into a cafe for visitors. And so this really is a campus development about three blocks along the west side of Martin Luther King Boulevard from 26th Street to Madison. While the museum will focus on Looper, it will also shine a light on others who played a part in breaking down the color barriers in America. Clara Looper is the iconic civil rights activist, advocate in Oklahoma City civil rights history. But there are many stories to tell. The museum and restoration of the Freedom Center will also secure Oklahoma City's role in the civil rights movement. Folks from Greensboro and other southern cities learned about the sit-in demonstrations that were going on in Oklahoma City and they took it back to the South. And the South got credit for starting the sit-in movements, but that's really not the case. Oklahoma City is not included in that timeline. That's why we need to tell our story. There's also a plan to share Looper's legacy far beyond the state lines of Oklahoma. There's a group of us going to Washington, D.C. in March to advocate with the African American Museum of the Smithsonian, that Clara Looper's story should be included. She should be there with these American heroes. Giving Clara Looper proper recognition as a national civil rights icon. Casey Ferguson, The Oklahoma News Report.
And to further honor Looper, the OU Department of African and African American Studies will hold its inaugural Clara Looper Legacy Honors Gala on Saturday.